Hello everyone, my name is Emmanuel Frazier and I am the Assistant Superintendent of Human Resources. On behalf of the Superintendent and the Board of Education, I would like to welcome you to the Bibb County School District. We are pleased that you have decided to join our team. These are exciting times in the Bibb County School District as we work to provide the experiences necessary for our students and our staff, which will allow us to achieve the results that we desire. In the Bibb County School District, our actions each and every day are guided by our mission statement. Our mission, the Bibb County School District develops a highly trained staff and an engaged community dedicated to educating each student for a 21st century global society. By agreeing to join us, you have agreed to help us in this work. This work is necessary if we are to have our students achieve our vision for them. The vision of the Bibb County School District is that each student will demonstrate strength of character and will be college or career ready. The work is not easy, but working collaboratively, we will be able to get our students to achieve this vision. We are pleased that you have joined us in these efforts, and we know that by working together, we will ensure that our students demonstrate leadership, scholarship, and citizenship as we continue to work toward victory in our schools. Once again, welcome to the Bibb County School District, and we look forward to working with you through the year. Your Human Resources Department is here to help you along the way as you begin your new career and during your career. If you have any questions or need assistance, please feel free to reach out to us. We have provided the names, the position we hold within HR, and the email for each person in HR. Your Human Resources Department has worked hard to provide you with everything you need to begin your career. You will learn about substitute placement and absence management, technology, salary, experience verifications, leave, certification, benefits, and retirement. Welcome to Technology Services. When you log into a Bibb County School District computer, you will be using Active Directory. This can be thought of as a service that allows you to be authorized to use the BCSD network. Use the following the first time you log in. Your username will be firstname.lastname and the password will be capital B, lowercase csd, your two-digit birth month and your two-digit birthday. Note the B in the password is capitalized. For example, Beverly Smith's birthday is January 10th. Her username will be beverly.smith and the password will be capital B lowercase csd0110. You will be prompted to change the password once you log in for the first time. You will be using Microsoft Outlook for your email and Office 365. Add at bcsdk12.net to your first name dot last name for your email address. For example, beverly.smith at bcsdk12.net. Your email address and your Active Directory password is your login to your Microsoft Office 365 account. For assistance, call the Technology Help Desk at 478-765-8659 or see your media specialist. The Bibb County School District uses ClassLink as our single sign-on application. All faculty, students, and staff use this to access our web resources. You can locate the icon for ClassLink on the desktop of your computer. Your login will be your Active Directory username and password. Infinite Campus is our student information system. This is where you will enter grades, see your class roster, or locate general student information. Parents and students have a portal to Infinite Campus so they can keep up with grades. Your user ID will be your first name dot last name and the password will be set by Campus Help and emailed to you. Contact your school's registrar or campushelp 
at bcsdk12.net for additional assistance. The Bibb County School District homepage is located at www.bcsdk12.net. Here you will find links to departments, employee apps, parent student information, as well as our Facebook and Twitter. For additional technology assistance, please contact the Technology Help Desk at 478-765-8659. Greetings, my name is Sharonda Ladd and I will be presenting the salary information. Monthly employees are paid on the last working day of each month. Semi-monthly employees are paid on the 15th and the last working day of each month. New hires will receive one to two printed paychecks before receiving direct deposit into your designated bank account. Failure to submit proper documentation may delay your direct deposit setup. Direct deposit information should be submitted to the payroll department. Employees may view paycheck stubs, W-2 forms, and other salary information by accessing employee self-service through the district website under employees. Once you receive your first paycheck, you may log in using the following information. Your username will be your district assigned five digit employee ID number. Your password will be the last four digits of your social security number. W-2 forms will be accessible via employee self-service in January. Paper W-2 forms are no longer provided. Additional compensation for coaching, extended day, or extended year supplements will be processed after the necessary paperwork has been submitted to human resources by the respective supervisor. Employees who are hired after the first contract day will receive prorated pay. Job-related experience must be completed by the previous employer or school district in order for the employee to receive compensation based on years of experience. Employees must work 63% of the year to receive credit. Until the experience verification form is received in human resources, the employee will be paid at zero years of experience. It is your responsibility to provide this verification form to human resources. The verification form can be found on the district website under the careers tab. Once the verification form has been completed, please email the form to verify at bcsdk12.net. Sick leave accrues at a rate of 1.25 days for each month worked. Up to 45 days of sick leave is transferable from your previous Georgia school district. Up to 10 days is transferable from a Georgia state agency. Sick leave is transferred from prior Georgia school districts or Georgia state agencies using the employee sick leave form. This form can be found on the district website under the careers tab. Three sick leave days are allocated for personal leave use each year. Please note, the personal leave is an extension of your sick leave. Any personal leave used will be deducted from your sick leave balance. If you do not have enough sick leave to cover personal leave taken, the leave will be processed as leave without pay. Employees will not be granted personal leave on critical days, except by the approval of principal or supervisor and the district superintendent. Certain conditions apply. For additional information on the critical leave policy, 
please contact the Human Resources Department. Use sick leave wisely. Teachers Retirement of Georgia allows you to apply unused sick leave as service credit for retirement. 12 month employees who work 239 contract days accrue annual leave as follows. Employees with less than 15 years of service accrue one annual leave day per month. Employees with 15 to 20 years of service accrue 1.3 days of annual leave per month. Employees with more than 20 years of service accrue 1.5 annual leave days per month. For payroll or leave questions, contact your leader, Gary, payroll supervisor, at the contact information provided. Hello, my name is Twanya Frazier and I am the classified and ASOP administrator for the Bibb County School District. I want to extend my congratulations and personally thank you for being a part of our Bibb County School District family. Today during this PowerPoint presentation, I will go over the Power School and new hire process as well as the absent management process. New hires will receive an email from Talent Ed once the new hire recommendation has been processed. This email will arrive in your inbox from the personal email you provided on your online application. The email will contain a link and instruction for creating an employee account to complete the onboarding checklist paperwork. Please make sure that you complete each form as soon as possible. Please maintain your password that you created as you may need to use that, use that password to gain access to personal information in the future. If you did not receive an email from Talent Ed to your personal email account, Please check your spam or junk mail. The next slide, we will discuss paraprofessional certificates uh, are held by all paraprofessional and family engagement facilitator. Uh, to obtain your paraprofessional certificate, paraprofessionals and family engagement facilitator must submit a paraprofessional application and an official college transcript with 60 or more college credits to human resources. If you have less than 60 or more college credits, you will have to take the GACE test, which is administered by the Central Georgia Technical College and may be taken in lieu of the required college credit. The passing score of taking the GACE test is 250. If you have any questions regarding the cost of the GACE or the dates of the GACE or how to register to take the GACE test, contact Central Georgia Technical College for further information. Once you complete your paraprofessional application and submit your college transcript, and or if you have less than 60 or more credit hours and take the GACE test, I will need the results of your GACE test and high school diploma and or official college transcript. All the those information, the application, the official transcript, the high school diploma, the GACE test, I will need all of that information in order for me to start the process for your paraprofessional certificate into PSC. Please make sure that the application is filled out in its entirety, that each section of the application, you have provided what is required. Any missing information will cause the delay in the hiring process as well as causing delay on your paraprofessional certificate. If there is any information that is needed from PSC, 
you will be notified by me. The next slide, we will discuss the frontline education system. Once all new hires have been processed and hired, I will set up each new hire employee a, an account in frontline absent management system. You will receive an email invitation from Frontline Education System to your work email. In that invitation, there will be a link and information for you to set up your username and password. Once you set up your username and password, you will be able to gain access into ASOP. If you did not receive an invitation to set up your username and password, please feel free to contact me. My contact information is in this PowerPoint presentation and I can send you a password reset to your work email. If you need instructions or you need to review absent management instruction, you can go to the Bibb County School District website and click on departments, click on human resources, and click on absent management, where you can review the absent management instructions and or you can contact me with questions or concerns that you may have in using frontline education system. Again, my name is Tonya Frazier. I am the Classified and ASOP Administrator for the Bibb County School District. Thank you. Hello everyone and welcome to Bibb. My name is Melanie Brown. I serve as the District Certification Administrator. For your certification questions, feel free to give me a call. My number is 478-765-8565. My email address is melanie.brown at bcsdk12.net. The Certifications Office manages a number of processes as it relates to your certificate status, such as adding certificate fields, certified new employee onboarding and processing, certificate conversions, certificate renewals, certificate upgrades, initial certification requests, certification requests by reciprocity, state and federal certification reporting, and student loan employment verifications. Why is certification important? I'm glad you asked. Quite simply, it's the law. The Georgia Professional Standards Commission is the certifying body for educators in the state of Georgia. Georgia Code OCGA 2-2-200 stipulates that the Georgia Professional Standards Commission shall provide by regulation for certifying and classifying all certificated professional personnel employed in the public schools of the state. It further states no such personnel shall be employed in the public schools of this state unless they hold certificates issued by the commission certifying their qualifications and classification. Certification is also important as it determines an educator's compensation rate. Your certification status determines whether you're paid provisionally or professionally. A third reason why certification is important is certification is a condition of your continued employment. To verify your certificate status, visit www.mypsc.gapsc.org or for additional information regarding certification in the state of Georgia, visit www.gapsc.com or email us at certifications at bcsdk12.net. Remember, it is each employee's responsibility to keep current their certificate status. The Certifications Office is here to help, so contact us. We look forward to working with you and have a great year.
Hello, I'm Katrina Swindle, and I am the coordinator of employee benefits for the district. I will be providing you with a brief overview of the benefits package you and your qualified dependents are eligible for now that you have decided to begin your career with the Bibb County School District. At any time, if you have any questions, please feel free to contact me. And again, welcome. You will have 31 days from your employment start date to enroll in benefits. However, for payroll purposes, the benefits office will provide an earlier deadline. Please note that you will not be able to make your selections for benefits until after your employment start date. So for example, if your start date is July the 22nd, you will be able to enroll after that date. New employee benefits begin the first of the month following a full calendar month work. So for example, if your hire date is July the 22nd of 2021, your benefits will be effective on September the 1st. Um, I've got a few examples here. And so most classroom teachers do begin on the 22nd. Parapros begin on the 30th. So your benefits will be effective on September the 1st. Uh, the exception is new hires transferring from other Georgia public school districts, and I will go into further detail about that on the next slide. Premiums for benefits are payroll deducted the month prior to your coverage effective date. And for semi-monthly employees, payroll deductions for benefits are split between both paychecks each month. New hires transferring directly from other Georgia public school districts or certain Georgia state organizations that offer state health coverage are considered transfers. Transfers keep the same health benefits you're currently enrolled in. Your former district or organization will make the payroll deduction for health insurance on your last paycheck and the Bibb County School District will begin your health deduction the following month. If you had a break in employment, meaning you did not complete the 2020-2021 school year with your prior district, you are not considered a transfer. Uh, human resources departments throughout the state work together to make the process of transferring your health insurance seamless so that you do not have to worry about that. Transfers will be able to update to a different health plan at the next open enrollment unless you have a qualifying life event. So if you have a marriage, a birth, anything like that, be sure to contact me and I will walk you through exactly what to do. Note that all other benefits for transfer employees, which include dental, vision, life, disability, will end with your prior district. These benefits do not transfer, so be sure to enroll in each of these benefits if you wish to have coverage. Qualifying life events allow you to update your health coverage and other coverage during the year. So the coverage you select during your new hire process will cover you through the end of this year, 2021, and cannot be changed unless you have a qualifying life event. These events allow changes within 31 days of the event and include marriage, divorce, birth, death, loss of coverage, or gain of coverage. One common qualifying life event is a dependent aging out of their parents plan. So if you are a new teacher or a new employee and you are under the age of 26, you may still be on your parents plan. But when you age out of that plan, you may contact me and I will walk you through how to enroll in health insurance. Open enrollment is typically in mid-October through early November each year and that coverage that you select during open enrollment is effective on January 1st of the following year. During open enrollment, all benefits eligible employees receive an enrollment packet and are allowed to make changes. We wish for all employees to participate in open enrollment each year, including new hires, even if you do not wish to make changes. So if you are enrolling now as a new hire, you still need to participate in open enrollment when it comes up in a few months. The coverage you are offered as a new hire working in a public school district in Georgia is through State Health Benefit Plan. State Health offers three different vendors Anthem, United Healthcare, and Kaiser Permanente. Anthem offers an HMO plan and three HRA plans. United Healthcare offers an HMO plan 
and a high deductible health plan. And Kaiser offers an HMO plan that only is offered to employees who live in the metro Atlanta area. The rates are listed here on the slide. Those are the monthly rates for each plan. In addition to those rates, you will pay a tobacco surcharge if you or your covered dependents have used tobacco products. There is a detailed summary at www.shbp.georgia.gov that you may visit to review all information about the health plan. And also I want to remind you to always verify that physicians are in network. On the next several slides, I will explain the difference in these plans. Anthem offers HRA plans with three levels, the bronze, silver, and gold. The prescription coverage is exactly the same on all three plans, but starting with the bronze plan, which is the lowest cost, and increasing to the higher plans, which are the silver and gold, those have higher rates, you will notice the annual deductible and the out-of-pocket maximum will decrease as you go up in the plans. This slide shows the bronze plan, the deductible, the out-of-pocket maximum. Anthem also offers the silver plan, and on this slide you will see the deductible and the out-of-pocket maximum for the silver plan. The gold plan is the highest level of the three HRA plans. It is the most expensive, but it also offers the lowest deductible. All three levels of the Anthem HRA plan have built-in HRA credits, which are placed into the plan on the coverage effective date for first dollar usage during the plan year. These credits or dollars are used to offset medical expenses, such as prescriptions, doctor visits, those type things. You may add funds to the dollars, the credits, by participating in the Be Well SHBP program to earn wellness incentives. Mid-year enrollments will have prorated HRA credits. So most of you will have coverage effective September the 1st, so you will not have the full HRA credits for the year. So it will be based on the months you're enrolled during the plan year. However, when the next year rolls around, you will receive the full amount of the credits for the year. Anthem offers an HMO plan, which is shown on this slide. You will see the annual deductible and the out-of-pocket maximum for the year listed. The HMO plans have co-payments for visits and, are, and are more traditional plans than the HRA plan. So that may be something that a lot of members consider to be the more safe traditional plans. United Healthcare also offers an HMO plan, which is listed on this slide. The annual deductible and the annual out-of-pocket maximum are exactly the same as on the Anthem HMO plan. United Healthcare and Anthem HMO plans have the same exact plan design with the same deductible and out-of-pocket maximum and the exact co-payments. So you will see on this slide that the co-payments for visits are listed for ER, urgent care, primary care, etc. Also the co-payments for prescriptions are listed on this slide. United Healthcare offers a high deductible health plan, which offers the highest deductible and the highest out-of-pocket maximum for the year. This plan also offers the lowest cost to employees for their out-of-pocket premium each month. Kaiser HMO 
offers health coverage to those who live in the metro Atlanta area only. As you can see here, there is no overall deductible and the out-of-pocket limit is listed here. I am hoping that one day we will have a Kaiser in our area because it seems pretty incredible, but for now it's only offered to those in the metro Atlanta area. The United Healthcare High Deductible Plan is generally designed for those who do not go to the doctor often. It does have the highest deductible and the highest out-of-pocket maximum, but it also has the least cost. So it's the least expensive plan. The Kaiser HMO plan is only offered to employees who live in the metro Atlanta area. There is no annual deductible. The out-of-pocket maximum is listed on this slide and also the co payments for each visits are listed. If you are currently enrolled in TRICARE insurance, you may wish to enroll in a supplement through state health benefit plan. This is for active and retired military who currently have TRICARE. So when you go to the enrollment portal for state health, you will see the option to enroll. The premiums are listed on the screen. Now I would like to tell you about a program that is offered through State Health Benefit Plan called Be Well. You are eligible to participate in the Be Well program by first going to the website listed here on the slide and taking the real age test. Once you take the real age test, you may participate in coaching programs or monthly challenges that allow you to earn wellness incentives up to $480 for yourself and $480 for your covered spouse. I highly recommend that you do this. It's not a gimmick. It's a real way to put extra dollars in your health insurance account. Some people may choose to redeem their points for a gift card once they earn the full $480. However, the best deal is to use the $480 incentive credits toward your eligible medical and pharmacy expenses. I also want to let you know that once you receive your health ID card, the, a website will be listed on the back of it and I recommend that you go to that website and register so that you will be able to view your EOBs, which is your explanation of benefits. You'll be able to also review your health account to see what your balance is for your wellness incentives or your HRA account if you have one of the HRA plans. So there's just a lot of information on those sites. So please go and register. Also, if you have a specified disease, you may contact ShareCare at the number provided to speak with them about participating in a program that will allow you to earn certain incentives. So please do that. Just a few last important features that I would like for you to know about your health plan. Uh, the health plan does offer telemedicine. And so if you are sick, you're at home, do not feel like going to the doctor, you may log on using your smartphone or your tablet for a virtual visit. So be sure to do that if you need to. Also, I want to let you know that CVS Caremark administers our pharmacy plan. That does not mean that you have to use CVS though. ShareCare is our wellness provider, which is the company that's responsible for maintaining our well-being incentives. It is mandatory that every new hire access the State Health Benefit Plan website to either enroll in or decline health coverage. The site is myshbp.adp.com, but you do not have to remember that because it will in your email that you receive from the benefits office. If you are returning from another state health cover physician, if you have worked in the past and had state health coverage, you may have to use the forgot password option so that you can recover your old email address and your old password. If you plan to add your family members to your health insurance, this slide is very important to you. Your legal spouse is eligible to be added and also your children and stepchildren are eligible up to age 26. 
State Health requires documentation to confirm your dependence. So if you elect to cover your dependents, they will be placed in a pending status until the required documentation is received. This documentation is generally a marriage license for your spouse and a birth certificate for your children. Also, you will need to provide all family members social security numbers. Upon enrollment, single coverage only will be provided. However, State Health will request those verification documents. The request will be received by email and or U.S. mail, so please respond to the request that State Health sends as soon as possible so that your dependents will be confirmed and added. Payroll deductions for health insurance will only be made for verified dependents. If a dependent and or spouse is added to your plan and is in a pending status when the payroll deduction file is received, a payroll deduction for single coverage only will occur until you verify your dependents. At that point, the payroll office will receive an update and any adjustments will be made. Your dependents will be added back to the same coverage effective date that you were added. All local benefits, such as dental, vision, disability, and life insurance, are elected via the district's online electronic enrollment system, which is maintained by our district's benefits broker, Housing Associates. Please keep in mind that once you log into this website using the step-by-step -step instructions that you will receive by email, you will enter your enrollments and then you will need to make sure to re-enter your PIN number in order for your enrollments to be complete. The district's dental provider is currently MetLife. If you enroll in dental coverage through MetLife, you will have 100% coverage for type A services, which would include your cleanings and x-rays, um, type B and C services get into a little more detail, so if you want to find out exactly how much coverage you would have on that, you may visit www.house.org backslash bib, select dental, and go down to the certificate of coverage, and those type services would be beginning on page 60. Uh, you have an annual deductor under MetLife of $50 and your family deductible would not exceed $150. Uh, orthodontic coverage is $1,000. That's a lifetime maximum and that is for adults and children now so that's an update. And your yearly individual maximum is $1,500 under the dental plan. Our vision insurance is through Blue Cross Blue Shield and under that plan you would receive your exam for $10 as long as you go to an in-network provider. Your lenses would be $15, and that's one per year. Your frames, you may um, get those once every two years, and you have up to a $120 allowance and 20% off the balance if you go over the 120. Contacts, uh, you have a $105 allowance and a 15% discount off of anything over 105 and contacts are once per calendar year and you cannot get contacts and frames in the same year so you would have to offset that every other year. Uh, your dependents are eligible for dental and vision insurance up to age 26 so that's your spouse and your unmarried children and stepchildren. If your spouse works for the district only one parent may cover children on dental and vision. Basic group life insurance is provided at no cost to all active benefits eligible employees. The benefit is one times your annual salary rounded up to the next thousand with a minimum of 10,000 and a maximum of 50,000. An equal amount of accidental death coverage is included with the benefit. Supplemental group coverage is available in addition to basic group life. This coverage is from one to five times annual earnings rounded to the next thousand. Guarantee issue as a new hire is up to three times earnings, which means if you enroll in one, two, or three times your salary in supplemental group life coverage, you will not have to complete a medical approval form. However, if you choose to enroll in four or five times your annual earnings, 
you will need to complete a medical approval form. Medical approval is required if coverage is not added as a new hire and is added during the next open enrollment period. Dependent group life coverage is available, a $5,000 benefit for your spouse and your children age 14 days to 19 years or 26 years old if full-time student. A reduced benefit of $5,000 for children age 14 days to six months is included with this plan. Medical approval is required for your family if coverage is not added as a new hire and is added during an open enrollment period. If both spouses work for the Bibb County School District, only one spouse may cover children on dependent group life. Beneficiary data must be listed on the Bibb Benefits website for life insurance purposes. Please list at least one primary and one secondary beneficiary and both must be 18 years old. Basic group, supplemental group life, and dependent life policies are term insurance policies that are active during your employment. These must be converted to individual policies at the time of retirement or resignation in order to continue the policies. During open enrollment in the fall, employees may enroll in whole life insurance. Whole life policies are portable at the same rates upon retirement or resignation. MedCom serves as the administrator for the district's flexible spending accounts, which are also known as FSAs. The FSA is an IRS regulated plan that offers a tax advantage of paying your out-of-pocket medical and daycare expenses with pre-tax dollars, all with the convenience of a MasterCard. So if you enroll in this plan, make sure you look for your debit card. It will arrive by mail. You have two accounts to choose from. The Dependent Care FSA, which is used for daycare and after school program fees. The annual max is listed on the slide. This plan falls under the use it or lose it rule, which means you must use all funds in your account each year by December the 31st. Under this account, you must wait until you contribute by payroll before you can use the money that's in the account. The healthcare FSA, which is used for medical, dental, and vision non-cosmetic cost, the annual max is listed here on the slide, and up to $550 may be rolled over to the next year for active employees. With the healthcare FSA, you may use your annual contribution on the coverage effective date. So if your coverage is effective on September the 1st and you put in $500 for the year, you will be able to use that whole $500 even though you haven't made that contribution. Be sure to keep all receipts even for debit card purchases because documentation most likely will be requested by MedCom in order to keep the district in compliance with IRS regulations regarding FSAs. Employees do not have to be enrolled in the district's health plan or other plans to participate in an FSA. It's very important that you note that flexible spending benefits are only available to active employees. If you leave the district, the amount of money remaining in your flex account is forfeited. Your card will become inactive on the month after your employment or contract ends. So if your paycheck, your final paycheck is August the 31st, then you must use all funds by September the 30th. In addition, if you're in a leave without pay status, your card will be inactive during the months you are out. FSA contributions must be reelected each year during open enrollment in order to continue contributions during the next calendar year. So if you're a new hire, and you choose an FSA account, you must also choose FSA during the next open enrollment because it will not continue if you do not. Cigna Disability Plans offer a partial income replacement for employees who are injured, are ill, and unable to work. This benefit is extremely important, especially for employees who exhaust sick leave due to illness, which leaves them in a leave without pay status. You must first choose your monthly disability benefit. You will elect from $200, which is the minimum, up to 66 and two thirds of your monthly salary, which is the maximum. The monthly benefit check is issued by Cigna, not the district. Next, you will choose your plan. Plan one 
which is payable up to age 65, or Plan 2, which is payable for a maximum of five years. Both plans work as a short-term plan and convert to a long-term plan as needed, so there would be no need to enroll in both plans. The difference is how long the plan would pay in the event of a long-term disability. Last, you will choose your elimination or your waiting period. Choose from five waiting periods, 14 days, 30, 60, 90, or 180 days. This is the number of days you must be out of work before you become disability benefit eligible. So keep in mind that this time must pass before you get your first check from Cigna. You must use your sick leave before you receive your disability benefit. Note that if you become eligible to draw Social Security or retirement while receiving disability benefits, the amount of the benefit will decrease, which could cause a repayment of funds already received. Maternity benefits are paid the same as any illness. Employees must exhaust sick leave before receiving a disability benefit. Pre-existing condition. The plan does not pay a benefit if the disability is due to a pre-existing condition and you become disabled during the first 12 months coverage is in effect. A pre-existing condition is any condition, including pregnancy, for which you receive treatment or consultation within three months prior to your coverage effective date. Please refer to www.house.org backslash bibschools for further information regarding the disability plans offered by the district. The district has recently started offering a cancer guardian policy, which allows you to enroll in a policy for comprehensive cancer support. And this is a benefit that allows you to have genetic testing uh, it's a transformative benefit program that combines uh, the DNA testing with the personalized support of a cancer care resources. So uh, if you're interested in this, the rates are listed here and um, you can see a little bit, bit of information on this slide. Uh, if you have questions about it, feel free to contact me. And you can also view any of our benefits at www.houze.org backslash bib. You may choose to enroll in the hospital indemnity plan offered through BOYA. You may choose different daily benefits, $100 a day, $200 or $300 a day. You may enroll in coverage for yourself only, you and your spouse, you and your children or the whole family. The rates are listed on this slide and the benefit would be paid upon the time that you're admitted into the hospital. You would fill out a claim form in order to receive this payment. BOYA also offers a critical illness policy that covers certain illnesses and is designed as a lump sum policy. You may enroll in a $5,000 lump sum $10,000 or $20,000, which would be paid if any of the covered illnesses that are listed on this slide occur. You also may file for an annual wellness benefit by completing a form that is on the HALS website, www.hals.org backslash bib. The rate for your policy would be based on your age and whether you are a tobacco user or not. You may also enroll in coverage for your spouse or children, and I will give that information on the next slide. This slide shows the rates for spouse coverage and child coverage. You may also file a wellness benefit for your spouse each year, which is $100, and for your child, which is $50. Keep in mind that rates do not increase with this policy as you age up. When you enroll in these plans, you lock in at the current rate. Also, you may take this policy with you upon retirement or resignation and the rates also do not increase then. AFLAC offers both cancer and off-the-job accident policies. These policies are available and pay in addition to your health and disability insurance. The policies must be approved and issued 
So you are required to complete an application and a deduction authorization form to enroll. You may contact the Benefits Office to obtain these forms. New hires transferring from other Georgia districts who have current AFLAC cancer policies may transfer the policy. Please contact Anita Sandifer at 478-972-7254 for specific details regarding AFLAC policies. Anita is available to discuss your family history and advise you as to which policy best suits your needs. Keep in mind that these policies also include a wellness benefit. For further information regarding AFLAC policies, please go to the BIA Benefits website, www.house.org backslash bibschools. Congratulations, you have now completed the benefits portion of the new hire presentation. Enrollment instructions will be provided via email from the Benefits Office. It will explain how to enroll in your benefits. New hires must complete both online processes outlined in the email in order to enroll in or decline benefits. The email will be sent to your personal email address that you provided when you applied for your job, which is on file with the district. It will not be sent to your district email address. Transfers from other Georgia districts must complete only the Bibb County Benefits online process, which includes the dental, vision, disability, and others. However, please log into your state health account to verify active coverage. So this is just a reminder that only your health insurance transfers, not dental, vision, disability, and other benefits. That's for transfers. Failure to complete the online processes by the deadline provided will forfeit your opportunity to enroll in employee benefits until the next open enrollment period. Tanya Foreman is the Retirement Administrator for the Bibb County School District. If at any time you have questions about retirement, please feel free to contact Tanya by phone at 478-765-8563 or by email at tanya.foreman at bcsdk12.net. The Georgia public school system has two different retirement systems. Teachers Retirement System, also known as TRS, which is the one that I will go over first, and also Public School Employees Retirement System, also known as PSERS. Directors, principals, teachers, paraprofessionals, clerical staff and campus police are required to be members of TRS as a condition of employment. Approximately one month after your first paycheck from the Bibb County School District, you should receive a packet from TRS, which will include your TRS ID. After receiving your packet, please visit www.trsga.com to list your beneficiary information. This is very important. Members currently contribute 6% of their gross salary on a before federal tax basis. The district also makes an additional contribution of 19.06% for 2021, and for 2022, it will be 19.98%. This helps fund TRS for current and future retirement benefits. The district contribution is not part of your account and is not refundable should you terminate TRS membership. Member contributions are refundable if employment terminates before you're vested in your retirement system. Keep in mind that refunds are taxed and also that withdrawing funds removes your years of service within your retirement system. It is very important that if you are a current member of Employees Retirement System of Georgia, which is also known as ERSGA, that you contact Tanya Foreman as soon as possible. Some of you are brand new to Teachers Retirement System and some of you may have been members of Teachers Retirement for a while. However, most everyone would like to know when you can retire. Normal service retirement is 30 years of credible service regardless of age or 10 or more years of service at age 60. You may also become eligible for disability retirement, and that requirement is 10 years of credible service regardless of age. And early service retirement is between 25 and 30 years of service and without attainment of age 60. 
the benefit formula for teacher's retirement, which determines how much your monthly paycheck is determined based on your credible years of service times 2% times your highest average salary for the month for two years of membership. And that determines your initial benefit under the maximum plan with teacher's retirement. This would be gone over at the time that you reach retirement age, but this is just a quick formula that explains basically how it works. Credible service is determined based on membership, purchased years, and unused sick leave. If you are an employee of the custodial, nutrition, transportation, or maintenance department in a non-supervisory position, you are required to contribute to public school employees' retirement system as a condition of your employment. Employees who first join public school employees' retirement system July 1, 2012 or after will pay $10 per month during the nine-month period of September through May which amounts to a $90 annual contribution. What are the benefits of membership with PSERS? If you qualify by years of service and age, you may be entitled to a lifetime benefit through public school retirement, and that is for disability also and death benefit. At retirement, options may be chosen that can provide lifetime benefits to your beneficiary beginning at your death. The amount you receive is calculated by the years of credible service multiplied by a specific dollar amount, which is set by the Georgia General Assembly and is currently $15.50. Approximately one month after you receive your paycheck from Bibb County School District, please visit www.ers.ga.gov to register and list your beneficiary. This is very important. There are three different types of service retirement a member can apply for in the public school retirement system. The first one is normal retirement. A member can begin receiving monthly retirement benefits as early as the first day of the month following the date of attaining normal retirement age, which is 65, plus 10 years of credible service. The second type of retirement is early retirement. A member can begin receiving monthly early retirement benefits as early as the first day of the month on or following age 60, provided they have at least 10 years of credible service. The benefit payment at early retirement will be an amount equal to normal retirement benefit earned at that time, reduced by 6% for each year that benefits commence prior to age 65. The third type of retirement is terminated vested retirement. A member who terminates employment after reaching 10 years of service, but prior to age 60 and does not receive a refund of contributions and interest will be eligible to start drawing a reduced monthly benefit as early as age 60 or an unreduced monthly benefit at age 65. The member should contact ERSGA 90 days prior to the selected retirement date. The effective retirement date will be the first of the month in which the member's retirement application is received at ERSGA or if later, the first of the month following their final month of employment. Members who leave employment before retirement eligibility are entitled to refund of contribution. However, keep in mind that this does withdraw your years of service. This is Carolyn Robinson, Benefits Administrator for the Bibb County School District. As a district employee, you are eligible to contribute to a 403B or 457B plan on a pre-tax or post-tax basis. You may contact AIG, formerly known as Valid, to start contributing today. Employee Assistance Program, known as EAP, 
The district provides an employee assistance program through Southern Behavior Services. This program is available to help you with personal problems that may affect your work performance. This service is confidential and is provided to you and your family at no charge. For help 24 hours a day, seven days a week, call 478-742-1464 or toll free 1-800-533-1797. Purchasing power. After six months of permanent employment, in a benefits eligible position, employees who earn at least $16,000 per year and have a bank account or credit card may participate in this program. The program is designed for employees to pay for purchase items through payroll deduction. Please visit www.billcountyschools.purchasingpower.com for details. Employees Wellness Center. The district offers membership to employees and their families in our Employees Wellness Center. We encourage you to visit the center located at 2011 Riverside Drive, Macon, Georgia, and the phone number is 478-779-2524. Be sure to drop by to tour the facility before enrolling. The Wellness Center offers aerobics, fitness equipment, exercise classes, weights, etc. Monthly membership fee of $10 per person paid by payroll deduction. You can enroll at any time.